Hey, in this episode, a small tip about how I select my images. Now, one of the main problems with digital is that we have a lot of images, right? Your hard drive can be filled up with images. Now, one of the things that I find very important is to be very, very brutal in your selection. In other words, delete everything that you don't like. Because let's be honest, with digital, if you don't, well, hard drives aren't that expensive, but they still cost money. And at one point, you still, <laughs> you just don't know anything to find anymore. So, I already deleted the images I didn't like, and let's see how I do the selection. These shots were actually shot during the professional imaging in 2014, and this is a selection of the final day. Now, in my opinion, a good shot will jump out immediately. Meaning, if I go through these images, the shot that I like will really have to jump out, like this one, I really love this one. Now, some people work according to a so-called star system, meaning five stars is a great shot, four stars is okay, three stars is hmm, mediocre, and zero stars can be thrown away. I use Lightroom for this in a slightly different way. If I really like an image, I will press the button P. And it will actually give you a little white flag over your image, as you can see here. This actually means a pick. Now, if you don't like an image, you press the X key. Uh, the X key later on in Photoshop Lightroom, you can go up here, go to library, uh, sorry, to photo and say delete rejected photos. And then it will delete all the images that were marked with an X. But I already did that, so now I'm only doing the piece. So let's go through. And again, a good shot will really jump out at me, like this one. I really like the expression here. I like this one even better, so press P again, also like this one. So go through the images. Let's see what I like. Yeah, this one is pretty interesting. I also love this one, her expression. I love this one. And this one is cool. <laughs> love her expressions here, but the shots are not perfect for a retouch. I really like this one, very, very surreal. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah. I like this one too, but not, not that much. Okay, what you can do now is go to Filters and go to Flagged. And now you actually see all the images that you flagged for retouch. So let's go through them again. I really like this one. This one is pretty cool. Let me see which one I like better. I actually like the other one better. So press U from Unflag. This one is pretty nice, but I like the other one better. And in my opinion, it's very important to have only one shot from a series. That's very, very good. Because if you retouch two shots from a series, you actually hurt the series, I think. You can better have one amazing shot from a series, and people go like, wow, that's a great shot, instead of having two shots with one wow shot and one, well, that's okay. Because somehow people always remember the okay shot and not the wow shot. I think this is... Pretty nice. Let me see which one I like more. I actually like this one more. It will be a little bit more retouch work, especially on the top. So we'll keep them both open just to be sure. So I now made my selection. And this way you can work very, very fast in Lightroom. And don't spend too much time on looking for an image. Like, if the image doesn't jump out to you immediately, the image is not strong enough. I always say an image has to jump out at you in like one second, that's it. If in one second you see an image and you go like wow, then you flag it with a P.